Hey gang, it's Danny San here. Um, I'd like to pose a question to you, my viewers and readers. Should I enroll in the Navy? I just heard uh, a couple hours ago that uh, one of my favorite J vloggers, uh, Roger Swan, has uh, passed away. And there's the lighthouse. Okay, and we're finally in cold water. <laughs> when the w water gets really, really high, it tends to come over the sides too. And this thing, this place is eerily quiet. This place kind of caught my eye when I was biking past it from St. Mary's. The so one job that they wanted to give me was a sonar technician, or STG, which I accepted. Basically, this is going to be my going away vlog. It'll be my last vlog before I enter into the Navy service. Guess what? I just comped, which means uh, I graduated ATT school. Tomorrow is when I'm going to be packing everything. Same apprentice, Andrew James Melzer. Departing. Yep, the sun is setting today. It's just beautiful out here. Say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. She's eating some lovely nachos. Where did you come from? How'd you get behind the wall? Oh my god. Sam is magic, everybody. <laughs> she is magical. So yeah, I'm back home here in Salina. I'll be starting class very soon. In addition to having to go to the bathroom, I'm also excited! Because I finally graduated STGA school today. So I'm rated, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for the trolley here and uh, take you on the trip all the way from here in Santee to the end of the Green Line at Old Town. Why do you know Red Bull may give you wings, but Power Thirst gives you birds. Where is he? He's, he's in that little seat. There he is. Get up, get up. Oh my god, they're wrestling. It's so cool. Yeah. Do it. He's a sleepy guy. Yeah. Lambo. Check us out, check us out, check us out. 1999, then Lamborghini Diablo replica. <laughs> check it out. A DeLorean in the desert. So yeah, made it back here safe and sound. Back home. <laughs> One of the cool things about Coronado Beach is that the sand is kind of glittery due to the uh, iron pyrite. I don't know if you can see that. This one's kind of bright, yeah. Um, I finally got orders to the USS Kurtz. Stationed here in sunny San Diego. Just got done eating uh, my last breakfast here in San Diego before I go on deployment. Yeah, we just got done uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff I can't even really get into, but um, I'm gonna get it again. Ah, thank you. Ah, took my hat. <laughs> or your hat, whatever. So as you can see, the line for the hot dogs and the burgers is pretty long. And uh, yeah. Burgers are pretty good, hot dogs, not so much. Today marks my uh, two year anniversary of joining the Navy. What do you think? Muy bien. She just one made both these cakes. Did a great job. She's gonna nice. help, me, help, help me cut the cake. Don't cut the cheese, just cut the cake, all right? <laughs> Okay, so this is the Panamanian version of a California burrito. It has pretty much the same stuff that's in uh, the regular ones back home. Fucking this fish up. <laughs> oh, I'm saying Aquaman is pissed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we get a chainsaw. There it is. Fix it. If I lose, it's because of all this work here, all right? Oh, yeah, we got that guy to go today. It was really cool because when we were we were doing Sea and Anchor, they blew their horn. It was when he wished upon a star, so that was insane. Also, watching them anchor was pretty cool too because that that big ass thing just turned on a swivel. It was crazy. And we got the sun out there setting. There's our ship right there. Pretty cool. Deployment is over. Yeah, yeah. So excited. I was just walking around and I found this like really good view of one of the mountains out here. A little piece of Shizuoka in uh, La Mesa, California. So yeah, it's just uh, just part of a little strip mall area here. There's downtown San Diego right there. It's really hard to tell the difference between this and a regular burrito, but there is uh, like, a, like a very thin cheese layer on the outside here. We're at Liberty Station here in San Diego at the uh, fountain area. 
here is the uh, the champions food. We're just uh, celebrating Cinco de Mayo, kicking things off uh, with a uh, meal at Alberto's. It's uh, one of my favorite places to go here in San Diego. So let's get the after beach interview. How was it? <laughs> that was cold. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are they getting a heart or something? Uh, yeah, I'm making a heart. I'm saying hello from. Can you fit it all? Or you can put like a little CA at the bottom or something. Yeah. There we go. It looks like we ain't in San Diego anymore, huh? I just wanted to uh, show you a little something about a Japanese super toilet. <laughs> I just wanted to do a uh, special video about the coins of Japan. Are you ready, man? I'm ready. All right, itadakimasu. <laughs> He's gonna turn green. I just want to show you guys a Japanese military uh, colors uh, thing. <laughs> I just want to show you guys a Japanese squat toilet. See the ship on the right? That's my ship. I'm in another bathroom in Japan, so I'm making a, uh, another Japanese toilet uh, tutorial. Basically, with this vending machine, you can uh, either put money in, like any other vending machine, or you can simply use your Passmo Suica card. Over 30,000 people cross this street every session. This is the second part of my uh, Japanese currency videos. Well, this is really cool, and as you can guess, it is 12.29. Gonna be 12.30. Yeah, I just got out of my hotel on my way to uh, meet up with the Mollies, get, uh, get some food and whatnot. I just got back hanging out with the uh, Mollies and Kurt from the Swafty Papa channel. I got this uh, coffee from uh, one of the local convenies, and it has a little car inside. So, what do we get today, Mr. Molly? Uh, I got the McDonald's McPepper Beef. Mm. We're uh, driving right past uh, Mount Fuji up there. You can see it off in the distance. What's up? Uh, that's cool. I'm on the uh, Shinkansen out in lovely Shizuoka, uh, heading back to uh, the Yokohama area, and then eventually back to Yokosuka. Gonna do another uh, vending machine tutorial video. So yeah, this one is a touch screen. Here is uh, Ochanomizu, which is basically uh, a, a guitar town, guitar city. Just gonna walk around and give you a little uh, quick glimpse of uh, Shinjuku. It's a, it's a pretty big place, so uh, it's hard to get it all in. It is a downtown view of Shinjuku. So just take it all in. It's freaking... Wonderful. On the uh, green car, on my way back to uh, Yokohama and eventually back to my apartment. And here's where all the magic happens. <laughs> in my room. You got this island out here that I showed in my other test video. It's called Monkey Island. And this is the Tokyo Station Hotel right here. That's right. This is a full scale, uh, actual size Gundam. Uh, if they would exist, this is how big they would be. So. So, in addition to uh, Tokyo Dome being a humongous stadium where a lot of uh, big rock bands and pop groups and all kinds of people play, it's also a big amusement park as well. You got like a roller coaster. Oh, check these guys out. Looks like they're ready to go. There's so much to see. Ah, it's so cold. Now we get on to my bread and butter right here. Fighting games. I believe this is the area that uh, Roger Swan was walking around in uh, almost five years ago today. That's like a big chunk of noodles and that. Uh, dig in. Mm. Oh, that's right. I forgot. On Sunday, you get to see a lot of the cosplayers come out. So I actually came at a pretty good day. Ooh, nice. Valentine's candies. New York coconut patties. This sketches, I know it's got sketches. Can you count Japanese? Each? First of all, take a label, what's your right left hand? Then the right hand. Make the left and 
Lean to your mouth and watch your left hand again and for the next person. Prayer, okay? And there is manners and rules for Shinto to pray for Shinto. All right, so I'm here at the 70th floor of the Yokohama Landmark Tower. Yeah, this is an old uh, Japanese sailing ship from way back in the day. It's been done up and it's actually a museum, so you can go inside and learn about uh, Japanese uh, maritime history and things like that. It's just massive. So let's see if we can find some uh, gold flakes. Start with the face. Just how much detail is on there. I'm at the monument that commemorates the landing of Commodore Perry. The resulting sound caused a loud pop and it uh, caused them to kind of tense up a little bit when they realized it was lemonade. You know, it was awesome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the illumination. <laughs> and this is like styled after like old school Japan, so you have like a bunch of like old uh, school ramen restaurants and all kinds of stuff. So you'll uh, see typical stuff like this in uh, most anime, you know, usually when they're thinking about stuff and things. <laughs> Check that gate out, oh, that's so cool. Just about finished drinking this. It's a limited edition uh, Kirin Sakura flavor for the upcoming spring. It's not going down! Oh, it's not going down! It's not going down! It came from America! America! I have uh, pollen allergies. So I'm absolutely just wreaking havoc on me right now, but we're doing this for you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. If you've only been here for one year, you're smoking me after one year. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Keep it up. Thanks. Really appreciate it. One of the interesting things about uh, Japan is that there's a lot of uh, towns and stuff that are famous for like a dish or a food or something like that. And with Yokosuka, it's curry. He was the captain or something like that of the Mikasa. It's showtime! <laughs> Boom! Yeah! wondering, yes, we are fairly close to the Opera House. Should be over there somewhere, I believe. Yeah, so we're up here in the, uh, the Sydney Tower, and it reminds me a lot of uh, Willis Tower back in Chicago. I'm getting a lot of great memories of that time. A little Tasmanian Devil exhibit. Oh, there we are. Look at him. It's just a wonderful day outside, man. Oh, the Princess Echo. It's just such a wonderful view, and I literally just discovered it. I haven't really thought of venturing up here before. They got curry pond or curry bread. This stuff is awesome. Love it. It seems like uh, every day I uh, wake up to go uh, get ready for work and everything, I take a picture of the sunrise right here. This is the dojo that Steven Seagal trained at for uh, Aikido. So, see that little uh, white dot right about there? That's Mount Fuji. I'll zoom in. A little bit. Zoom in a little more. This is all the way zoomed in, baby. Here is the, uh, the main part of the shrine here. Just go up the stairs. It's been uh, about a week later and I've grown out my uh, leaf beard quite nicely. <laughs> There's the, uh, the lighthouse and all its bright glory. <laughs> now here's something that I really like. I like this side because it's got the Arctic wolves. These things are humongous. Look how big that thing is. You guys, I'm so fucking beat right now. You paint me like one of your French girls. Kimchi fried rice. Mmm, good stuff. Alrighty, so here is my little Moss Burger set. So this is the Moss Cheeseburger set. Looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? Mmm. <laughs> nice barbecue cheeseburger that's fucking gooey gooey and oh so delicious. Friendship day. I'm gonna cross a big one off the bucket list here and I'm gonna climb Mount Fuji today. I got a message from my mom on Facebook saying that uh, my dog Zeus had, uh, had passed away. They had, they had put him into, to sleep because his, uh, his liver uh, was failing and he, he was in really bad shape so they decided to, uh, to euthanize him. Alright, so I'll give you guys a little overview of the burger. 
they got their full avocado slices here, got some cheese, and then some pickles in there as well. It absolutely is a black burger. I actually have stuff in my living room now. So just like uh, in Burger King, they have the black burger. They also offer a white chicken burger. All right, guys, so my hot dog came out, and it looks good to go. We got some fries, a little bit of onions. So cool. Um, actually, uh, recording this to film my progress going from Japan to uh, back home in Salina, Ohio. I'm gonna document my uh, travel back to Japan because sadly my uh, leave time here is over. So yeah, as you can tell, I got a lot of shit on my mind. So. Uh... Your balcony's not big enough. No, it's not. I mean, it only goes around my whole apartment. I mean, I know, right? I mean, yeah. motherfucking poopy bros over here. Poopy bros. Yeah. Just got back recently from uh, oh, <laughs> being underway, so it's good to be back. Check that out. All right, guys. So the Secret of Mayo Festival is currently underway. And Today is my 100th episode of Andy Japandi. I'm going to be um, separated from the Navy. Can be discharged. Coming at you from Harajuku, more specifically to Catch the Street. Uh, I recently had an infection that I was getting over. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing to my channel. Uh, recently, I hit uh, 1,500 subscribers on my Andy Song channel. But anyway, yeah, we're just walking around this little area in uh, Yokosuka that I've never been to before. And they have like carvings of uh, Buddhist statues and stuff like that in there. So thanking you guys for uh, continuing to support me through my five years in the Navy. And here's to many more post Navy. I drain jets. So, um, it's near the end of uh, Japanese rainy season for the summertime. Uh, there's another one coming up before fall, but uh, for now, uh, rainy season is about over. So I wanted to show you guys these uh, before they start wilting up and stuff. There's the duck. I get him. The bun is really spongy, actually. So, open it up. Ooh, it's nice and hot. So it's got like a little chili sauce there, a grilled onion, uh, the red cheese. I believe the, the redness is derived from like some kind of tomato pigment or something like that. Holy cow, guys. Look at this wonderful sunset. I'm obviously gonna be snapping pictures and stuff uh, for Instagram and whatnot, but I just wanted to, to capture this on a quick little video just to show you guys how freaking awesome these colors are. It's wild. Jelly wrestling, jelly wrestling. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I've officially, as of today, been accepted into Western Michigan University for uh, the Computer Information Systems program, and I'm really excited. <laughs> Check out Yokosuka Port Market. They have these kinds of beers and more. You're gonna go down a clown with all the yutubbers. And tonight, I just wanted to show you uh, another really awesome sunset. Just wow. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so here's what I got. I got a slice of cheese, pepperoni, and some jalapeno. Like three pieces, but still, I don't care. I haven't eaten all day. shop here for little goodies. My separation package has been routed up through the chain of command. This doesn't taste like a... Uh... <laughs> Just today I came back from my last ever underway. Uh, so anyway, when it comes to unprotected sex, this guy's the king, you know what I mean? Hey man! Oh, you didn't know? You got a raw dog at son! As of today, September 11th, 2015, uh, the movers came in and uh, they took all my stuff and it will be uh, scheduled to be shipped back to me in Ohio in uh, November. I just wanted to show you guys the view out here of the ocean and the little islands and whatnot around here. 
this is what I got. If you can read Japanese, you already know what's coming. So, yeah, in the next little bit, I'll go over the different flavors. So, see you there. Okay, so here is the finished result. I had to actually, like, leave to find a good spot because everything was all packed. Akihabara is mainly uh, known as uh, Electric Town. And today, uh, we're going to go on a bike ride, and I'm just going to show you around my uh, local neighborhood here in Yokosuka. And uh, today is my last day on board the USS Lassie. I can't be doing this the rest of my life. I gotta be a man. Gotta do something else. Gotta move on to something else. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to make this video say thanks for uh, following me on my adventures here in Japan through my Andy Japandi series for the past two, almost two and a half years. And I want to thank you guys for tuning into my adventures in the U.S. Navy for the past five and a half years as well. There's the uh, Seattle Ferris wheel right there. So I'm back here once again at the Space Needle. And I just wanted to give you guys another little look at it before I head up. So, pretty impressive, no? So after about a week and some change stay here at uh, Bangor Base in lovely Washington State here in America, um, I'm officially uh, a veteran now, so I'm no longer a part of the uh, United States Navy, officially discharged as of today, September 24th, 2015. Woo. But I'm back home in lovely Salina, Ohio, just chilling over at my parents' place for the next couple months until um, I get an apartment squared away up in Kalamazoo. Long story short, you know, if you want something, go for it. And, you know, don't be afraid to put in a little extra work to make it happen. Here in Cincinnati, Ohio with my friend Zach. Well, <laughs> yeah, the area where I grew up at. Uh, yeah, and this is the little back end here. It's they put a garage in here now. It's kind of strange. I don't know. Lately, I've also been feeling a lot of uh, social media burnout and YouTube burnout as well. From my new apartment here in Portage, Michigan, nearby Kalamazoo. And so right now I'm at uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's in my hometown of Salina, Ohio. So there's the lake right there. Here we go. Here's the living room. I just started my uh, first semester of college in nearly 10 years, so nearly a decade. So uh, I just feel really uh, disconnected from everything, really, right now. So yeah, um, I just wanted to make this video to commemorate Leap Day 2016, February 29th. So yeah, in addition to this being my monthly update video for March of 2016, it's also my 10 year YouTube anniversary video. Woo, yeah. <laughs> right now we're going to uh, my college, uh, Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo, which is just a uh, town over. Okay, so here we are at Sangren Hall. This is where uh, I have one of my classes at. And uh, it's just, it's one of my favorite looking buildings. I think it's one of the newer ones. Uh, my friends Grace and Ryosuke from the Texan and Tokyo channel uh, finally hanging it, hanging it up, giving up on YouTube. The main thing I want to talk to you guys today about is my recent stint as a video editor. I've been busy editing some of my friends' videos and podcasts, and it's been really fun for me. Welcome to my new studio! I got my first YouTube check today! I decided to transfer over to the local community college, uh, KVCC, get my GPA back up, and work on an associate's degree um, in multimedia and video production. My uncle passed away last week at 64 due to brain cancer. Um, I went to visit my baby brother down in North Carolina where he's stationed at um, to see him get married and to finally meet my uh, sister-in-law and uh, to catch up with family as well. It's a continuing learning process, you know, dealing with mental health and, you know, anxiety, depression, all this kind of stuff. You know, it's an, I'm not just going to wake up one day and be like, haha, I have it solved and I'll never suffer anxiety or depression again. Ha -ha. You know, the only thing I can do is just chip away at it bit by bit, get a little bit better every day. Probably the most important thing that's happened to me recently is, if you couldn't tell from the background because it's a little dark, is I've moved. <laughs> so as you guys know, I've been really busy since moving back to Ohio, uh, working on freelance projects. What you think about? What you doing, pup? There she is. <laughs> she just wants to play. Uh, the plan is to first go to a community college to help uh, get things going as far as getting myself ready for the transfer out to a an overseas school in Japan. 
you know, for me, I have way more to do in this life than just sit around and wait to die while I'm paying bills and stuff. And I'm going to be moving to North Carolina to live with my brother. Uh, he's stationed out at Fort Bragg, um, but he's got a place out in town. The plan is for me to work and to save up money so I can move back out to Japan. The last bit of my paperwork has been finally submitted. I had an interview with the college that I wanted to go to, but it didn't really turn out so well. I go to school during the summer. I go twice a week on campus. This semester uh, is finally over and my overall GPA is a 3.0. Here at uh, good old Escuela here, uh, here in North Carolina. Um, got a class here in a few minutes, but it's official guys. My ass is coming back to Japan. I've been accepted into Lakeland University, Japan, and I've been accepted for the spring semester 2020, which means that I'm gonna be moving to Japan at the end of this year, 2019. Woo. I'm recording on my new camera for the first time in a long time. Got a camera up here on the sticks, on the tripod, and it is my new Panasonic G85. My faithful companion of four plus years, the good old chill box, has been taken offline. I'm gonna be introducing you to my new channel, Andy Japandi. Really excited for everything. I just gotta get a little bit more ready than I am now. Um, next week is gonna be finals week, so I'm gonna be a little busy as far as that goes, getting in. Uh, final exams, final projects, and just, you know, finishing out the semester. As for Japan stuff, I got my Japanese visa. Now, obviously, I can't show you on camera because uh, it's got a lot of private info and stuff like that on there, but it's in my passport, so you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> I basically got an A, a B, two Cs, and one D, so... I've officially booked my plane tickets for Japan. And I'm kind of at that point right now. I'm kind of at the oh shit point um, where it's just starting to get a little scary. And I'll admit, you know, today I've been uh, fighting off uh, some internal panic as far as that stuff goes. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it was all worth it. Persistence pays off. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for sticking with me through this long and crazy journey back to Japan. <laughs> and uh, be on the lookout for some more videos. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.